Aloha, my name is Candace. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year. Here in Hawaii right now, we're about 12 hours away from the end of 2020. And I recently shared that 2020 has been one of the best years of my life. And several of you asked me to record a video and share how I was able to manifest a phenomenal year despite all the things that were going on in the physical world, despite the circumstances. And so I am definitely happy to share that with you. That's exactly what we are going to talk about today in this video. But first, I'll share a little bit about what manifested this year. So this year started off wonderfully because Brian Tusharon and I, a dear friend of mine, Brian Tusharon and I, launched the Isn't It Wonderful Club. And this club really has been a dream come true because Brian and I used to speak from the end about having a family and a community of people who love to celebrate and just have fun and enjoy the ease, the simplicity, the joy and manifesting. And that's exactly what happened. It happened so organically that the club came about. And then it just rolled into more awesomeness because the amazing rapper B. Floss, who lives in Barbados, <laughs> and who used to work for Neville Goddard's family's company, which I think is such icing on the cake. B. Floss wrote and performed the Isn't It Wonderful Club anthem. He wrote and performed this anthem for us, and it is amazing. It's amazing. Of course I'm biased, but the song is amazing. <laughs> and if you haven't heard it yet, you can check it out. It's linked in the description below. It's an amazing song. And again, the icing on the cake was that it was completely unplanned. I had just really wanted a song that really allowed people to get into the feeling of something wonderful happening right now. And B Floss had happened to take one of the Isn't It Wonderful challenges and he came to mind. I was like, yeah, B Floss, B Floss would be amazing contacted him. He had been wanting to create a song just like this and it just came together perfectly. And then come to find out he's in Barbados and that he's worked for Neville Goddard's family's company. Amazing. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You literally can't make it up. It's amazing. So that happened this year is my best friend got married and I remember when she wrote a letter to herself and it included the qualities that she wanted in her dream man and the beautiful thing is that her husband has all of these qualities he literally has all of the qualities which is amazing and to add just again icing on the cake she kept the letter. She kept this letter that she wrote out to herself. And I was able to read it during her, during my maid of honor speech. And it was an opportunity to really just show how amazing this all is. To see that she wrote out this list of, of qualities and her dream man. And then she beautifully manifested the perfect man for her. It is amazing. That was a dream come true, of course for her, but also for me too, because it is so fulfilling to see your loved ones manifest their dreams. It is so fulfilling. It is so awesome. And that for sure is one of my top memories from this year. And I decided to embark on my own little Hawaiian adventure and I chose to live in six different parts of the island. As you can probably tell, my backgrounds are always changing for my YouTube videos and I wanted to really see what is it like to live in different parts of the island. And from that experience, I began the process of building a house, which is really, really exciting. I also have had the tremendous honor of being a godmother. This is something that I had secretly been desiring and I had never shared with anyone that I wanted to be a godmother and it came about in the most perfect way that I was asked to be 
a godmother of a tremendously amazing and brilliant young girl. And so that has been a true, true gift, a true gift. The thing that's been super fun this year is how many rainbows I've been seeing. I literally see multiple rainbows every single day and it has been incredible. The type of rainbows I've been seeing have been amazing. Rainbows on the wall, rainbows on the floor, rainbows in the car wash. The most epic rainbow that takes the cake is we have a cave here in Hawaii. It's called Spitting Cave. What happens is the water rises up and fills the cave and then the cave expels the water and I went one day and the the cave was spitting out water like it normally does and then all of a sudden when it spit out the water a rainbow formed from the spray of the water the sun was hitting just right that it allowed for this rainbow to appear and it just kept happening over and over and over again every time the cave expelled the water it was this beautiful rainbow that was amazing it's stuff like that just so much wonder and awe that has been just what has been going on almost every single day every single day and then to just top it off so beautifully i have been receiving success stories from you every single day every day your stories from around the world really just continues to demonstrate that imagination really does create reality and it really does show that we are the offering power and so i am so grateful and so thankful for you sharing your stories sharing your stories sharing your testimonies it's just been amazing amazing and there are so many other things that happened this year, but I just wanted to give you a, a brief synopsis of why this year has been one of the best years of my life. And so the question is, how do you do this? How do you do it? Well, I'm gonna share two things with you. The first thing is that, is something that I always teach. It's something that I always share, and it is it is to choose an ideal state and to live from that state, to live in that state, to live from that state. And for me this year, the state that I embodied the most was the unparalleled, unending bliss state. Unparalleled, unending bliss. And so it was really about a commitment to thriving, a commitment to experiencing bliss, continuous bliss, unparalleled, unending bliss. And so many of these manifestations that you're hearing about in this video are a result of that state, the unparalleled, unending bliss state. They're just an automatic manifestation. I certainly did not imagine seeing unique rainbows i did not like sit down and like imagine that that is a result of being in a state of unparalleled unending bliss and it's like oh rainbows <laughs> a rainbow in the car wash a rainbow coming out of a cave like <laughs> it's an automatic result and so choosing an ideal state, living in that state, thinking from that state, and then allowing it to lead to these incredible experiences, that is my go-to. That's my go-to. That is what I do. That is what I do. That's the way that I live. I choose an ideal state. I live from that state. I let that state lead me to these amazing, phenomenal experiences.
Second thing that I do is something I do just for fun. And I always like to remind you that exercises and techniques, they're all optional. They're not required to manifest. We're manifesting all the time and it is not required to do like specific exercises or techniques. That's really, really not required. But this is something that I have been doing since 2014 and I really have a lot of fun doing it. And what it is, it's called my reflect and manifest exercise. This is something that I modified to make it my very own. It was inspired by one of my friends, but I've modified it to make it my own. And what it is, is you reflect on the year that you are leaving behind. So you reflect on 2020. What was your favorite memory from 2020? What is something you learned in 2020? What state were you in for the most part in 2020? And then you take the clarity that you get from answering those reflection questions and then you manifest the new year right manifest 2021 and in true living in the end fashion the questions for 2021 are written in past tense because I really love to go to the end I love to uh, go and say this already happened this is already so and so the questions are written as if it is already so right and after you go through and you manifest 2021 you then feel the reality of it and then you seal your responses in an envelope you put the envelope away and then just for fun again in December of 2021, you open that envelope and you see how amazing your imagination is because there are things that you've written down on this that you forget and you go back and you open it up and you're like, wow, that manifested, even though I f forgot, you know, even though I forgot that I wrote it down and then I even felt that like, it manifested and that's always so much fun so that is something that i do every single year i've been doing that since 2014 it's called my reflect and manifest exercise thank you for watching this video and being a subscriber i have made that exercise available to you you can access it below in the description there's a link right to it it's a long link but it takes you right to it you don't have to sign up for anything or anything like that it'll take you right to the exercise and I would love to hear from you when you complete the exercise let me know what came up for you let us know let us know in the comments below <laughs> so with that said my two things that I do to manifest phenomenal years is I choose an ideal state I embody it I live from it I commit to thriving, right, by choosing that ideal state. And then I also, at the end of each year, I do the reflect and manifest exercise. And that's been what I've been doing. And it has been really, really great. Each year has been phenomenally great since doing this. It's just gotten better and better and better. So wanted to share that with you. A big thanks to the people that asked me to record this video. And finally, happy new year. 2021 was the best year yet. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha.